La Jolla, California, an affluent Oceanside community located approximately 15 minutes from downtown San Diego. Tia Quick, a deputy district attorney in the San Diego County Prosecutor's Office, has enjoyed all that the area has to offer, both personally and professionally. However, all of that changed one Saturday morning while she was in her car running errands. I was crossing a busy intersection on a Saturday morning, getting ready to go to the mall and take my dog for a walk when a man ran a red light. As it turned out, Tia had suffered a back injury, specifically a sacroiliac joint injury. The problem is this type of injury is so poorly understood, it took her a few years to get the correct diagnosis. The sacroiliac joint is not an easy joint to diagnose as a source of pain. Uh, again, it's at the junction between the spine and standard low back pain related to spinal problems uh, and the hip. The sacrum is the triangular shaped bone in the lower portion of the spine below the lumbar spine. The sacroiliac joints are formed by the connection of the sacrum and the right and left iliac bones. While most of the bones, vertebrae of the spine are mobile, the sacrum is made up of five vertebrae that are fused together and do not move. The sacroiliac joints are essentially up and down joints that are, they're hold the pelvis to the sacrum. The sacrum is the lower part of the spinal column. Um, so the spinal column is above the pelvis and this, with the sacrum attached and the hips go from the pelvis down and the junction of the sacrum and the pelvis is, are the sacroiliac joints. The SI joints have a cartilage layer covering the bone. The cartilage allows for some movement and acts as a shock absorber between the bones. When this cartilage is damaged or worn away, the bones begin to rub on each other and degeneration occurs. This is the most common cause of SI joint pain. Degeneration occurs commonly in the SI joints, just as it does in other weight-bearing joints of the body. Other disorders that can also cause inflammation in the SI joints include gout, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, arthritis, and ankylosing spondylitis. In addition to injury and age, another cause of SI joint pain is pregnancy. I got three and third's a charm, that's what I always say. <laughs> During pregnancy, hormones are released in the woman's body that allow ligaments to relax. This prepares the body for childbirth. So these are your x-rays, the, the most latest. recent ones we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, so you can see the three implants. Uh -huh. Sarah Hangartner, also of San Diego, is currently a home health aide. She began experiencing back pain 20 years ago when she delivered the first of her five children. It probably started when I had kids, and, and it just deteriorated over years. It wasn't too bad as long as I was working in the office, but once I, you know, it did interfere with family life, doing things, walking, you know, it got to the point where I'd have to take two trips to the grocery store because I couldn't walk the whole thing. You were on some really heavy-duty meds, as I remember. Right. It finally forced her to leave her job as an office manager after having worked nearly 40 For years. I wasn't ready to retire, but I felt like my body was. <laughs> Even after Sarah retired, it took a long time before she finally got the correct diagnosis. They put me through so many tests and so many trial and errors and physical therapy and different pain meds. And finally, they took an MRI and found out that I did have SI joint. Tia's pain also forced her to take a leave of absence from her job, and she had to stop going out dancing with her friends while she sought the proper treatment. After that, we moved on to some more intensive treatments, um, injections and radiofrequency ablation, and then we attempted massage therapy, more physical therapy, more injections, and kind of took us down a two-year road, two -year road. There's a plethora of treatments but often non-specific for sacroiliac joint related pain. So again, I go back to trying to diagnose it right. Dr. Garfin says treatments range from physical therapy to medications, injections, and finally surgery. Right. It may be that surgery is just not 
uh, an option for a, a patient because of their lifestyle, because of what they do, because of socioeconomic considerations. Um, it could be pills and therapy is, is all they need or all they want to choose or should choose. But it's, it's really a combined effort. It's not a doctor telling a patient what to do. Okay, no of course, okay, whatever no treatment a patient done. selects should be a decision that is undertaken after a thorough and open discussion between the patient and the physician. Tia and Sarah both opted for surgery as their pain increased and their quality of life decreased. Since the non-operative course uh, wasn't long-lasting in her, a surgical solution, which is more of, more of a permanent fix, was the answer. One of the newer forms of surgery is called sacroiliac joint fusion. Sacroiliac joint fusion is done when the patient has failed non-surgical treatments of the sacroiliac joint. This surgery is minimally invasive, and the implants are put in from the side through the joint into the sacrum. There are some implants that are triangular shaped. They're, they're probably the most commonly used, uh, inserted through a small incision over the the buttock more on the outside and with x-ray control uh, drive them uh, from the ilium which is the outside of the pelvis across the joint itself and into the sacrum um, and that leads to uh, stabilization of the joint. The surgery is performed under general anesthesia and usually involves a one-day hospital stay. As with any surgery, there is a risk of infection, and the recovery takes generally six to eight weeks. They give relatively immediate strength and stability. It's a small incision, there's almost no blood loss. The patients go home in a day or two, they're weight-bearing, walking on it, and I'm sure some patients do it early. We recommend two to three weeks. Um, and they're over the operation pretty quick. Okay, well I'm hoping to get a majority of my life back. Get back to the dancing, get back to the socializing. Yes, we're planning a trip to France and maybe Italy this summer. The joint is narrowing down. It's already healed, fused across here. It's fuzzy, which is fusing there. It, it looks just great. For more information on sacroiliac joint disorder, please visit the following websites.